What's up, YouTube? I think I may have the mess behind it, but I'm going to clean up in about three days. I'm off. So, here's the White House pet petition to declare George Soros, you name it, you can see right here as the rules of YouTube, whatever. whatever. As it says, illegal immigration. Uh, he is paying people to basically screw up the Trump candidates, and you know, I mean, the, I can't see it right, but you know, the our current president and the rest of the Republicans, he's trying to mess things up. Basically, he's doing it for years. I knew this guy since I think I heard after all that chaos up north when the election occurred, when Trump was admitted as president, and this guy was behind all the breaking windows, the crowd having riots, throwing fits. This guy, multi billionaire guy, he's the richest on most. And now everyone sees the money, which is good. Because he doesn't deserve he doesn't deserve no money. He's involved with the market. He's involved with the Obama group, the Kennedys. I mean like uh say Hillary Clinton, he's involved. Uh, John McCain definitely he is definitely the one I do not want to mess with none of them but uh, he's not really technically good he's saying false things that are not true basically as I see, see, I see things correct not from this rule I mean from above you think about your heart what's correct you look at it you see, this is a liar, a pure liar of the Nazis. He was in Germany when it occurred. So pretty much, that's what it gets. He ought to be thrown in jail. Chairman right here, fund all these people. So he's pretty much the one that pays the protesters. And I go to, what is it, Trump. You see, these are, we're going to see. The impeachment is most likely Soros. Because don't believe in impeachment, it's not true. We don't want it, can't afford it, North Korea. If it's true, who knows. But it's been Promise I've had the Lord in the recent years, so there'll be, there'll be a new color fallout somewhere, but there's just like a whole mess. What can you trust, really? And all these fake news people, guess what? He funded it all, too. Probably so. So, paying protesters to, yeah, destroy America, right? It's up to Trump from being elected, and now I'm bringing threats against him. The voices behind the protests. The reporters crash against the presidents. Yeah. 
as a protest. That's most likely tr not Trump. That's Cerberus, probably. This was most likely Soros doing the evil part. So I'm gonna play it probably. Well, everyone's got to have ads to pay for, for things, right? So it helps this country in a lot of ways and content providers like me and and better at it. So, as you can see, this is, I might not be able to hear it because I got my iPhone connected to a cable. So, for the app that I just got paid, I had like $196 more today. But, this is most likely Sora's fault for him, for George, him doing it. As you see, and then we're finally finding out. We already knew this. He was probably threatening to get rid of Soros, really. President. Things he said were false, regardless. Pretty much the fire. And that's it. That's about him I don't like. Across the U.S., why well, you had so much of an outbreak, right? You wondered. And we're going to put George. Soros. I'm going to put George Soros claim. That's on fire. Can't George Soros. Money went to Women's March. No kidding. Yeah, I would too. This round is target him for sure. So. It's a way for the elite to get over this Trump thing and kick him out, but we gotta win. You know, America's gotta come back. Just make America great again, which is George Soros trying to send other misses out of way. Reversal. Not to attack him. Soros himself. They're in Bell Air, right? It's true with Bell Air. Other protests, several protests are as promoting. So, pretty much, she prompted all these ads anywhere. Still, showing show me an X. This is recent. This is not what I like. In fact, activist as I thought he would. Leading anti Trump activists blocked the major discriminatory donors. Mobilizing large numbers of protesters against Trump's rally on Tuesday, spilling the shot, spilling, stealing the the spotlight from the president event, which is illegal, by the way. She he ought to be behind bars for this too. Tuesday, in addition, organizing mass protests. Outside of invisible is I think protesters to encourage him to register the tickets for the rally itself, increasing likelihood of protesters to disrupt Trump's speech often happens at Trump rallies because he pays them to do it. So this guy needs to be thrown in jail for at least a hundred years for me. Or more, depending how bad it is. Maybe 30 years, maybe the most. I probably did 40. It weren't hurt. You ought to be banned from that state, regardless. Money should be gone. That's it. Bank accounts emptied, disabled. Guess. Yeah, this is the guy that fuels the fire. They're all fake. June 2016. London, Brenton. By the way, this guy's banned from several countries. What he done? 
in the past. So you're gonna need to this channel below and subscribe below this video. There'll be a bell notification button, like push this button right here, be ready to subscribe, and then push the bell notification button, which is gray, like a bell with the thing like that. It's got the indicator in your sound coming out. Push it. So every time a video comes out, YouTube will know off high every time a video comes out of mine. This video is only about the truth. It's about spreading the truth and destroying the lies of him. Yeah. And the Trump resistance. If we, need, we don't really need any of those guys. So thanks. You think this is an awesome channel? I think it's better, but as I... I could just add this part to it. We are seeing me correctly. So... This took a while. I had to spell this correctly. First, I spelled it incorrectly. I had, I think, two of these right here. And by the way, this thing's been up to date. The software, everything. It's one latest Mac quest. I don't know when the next one comes out, but I don't know the requirements. And right now it's probably in beta, the last bit of it. And when I was using iMovie yesterday, I think, damn, this thing got high as you can even believe. It's like the last iMac. It's like a couple weeks ago. Oh, and both are fine right now, by the way. Apparently I pushed the graphic card or wherever it was to a heat level that did not destroy it, but if I was gonna do future videos and this thing is all suddenly gave up, well, I should probably build a high-end machine or get a high-end Mac, but I don't know. App free. I know on Windows I can do this if I needed to, if I had Windows on it. Easily. The app was five bucks, but it was on sale for like two and a half and I didn't pay till midnight or early in the morning. So I'm gonna put a hundred away. I got like another two hundred somewhere. I went on a scratch off for I paid thirty bucks to go and stay a fair. But probably about, let's say, the first one, first couple, the first two were two ten dollars. They had a deal in our city in the state fair. Buy twenty dollars for the scratch off tickets, get one free spin. Well, my luck came in pretty good. I get three two free tickets, two dollars per ticket, and they were worthless. And I said. One of the $10 ended up being $20 worth of the winnings. But here's the massive one that gave me beyond $200. It was $30 gold, kind of a new ticket, you know. You see, I don't know why it's like a big ticket. It's like multi million. I was like, I was scratching it off. Like, there were several tens, tens, tens. This does occur every now and then. It's been a long time, like over one year since this occurred, since until now. There'd be several, I was like, I'm scratching all these. This has got to be a big winner. You know, I had, I had 120. All the rest are 10s, regardless. Very high amount of numbers matching, by the way. And to the extent I gave to the person and the thing, it ended up being worth $250, literally, for one ticket. I didn't buy any more after that. I'm not taking my chances. If that's what usually happens. You think about how you gauge it. All the traction does work. You gotta think positive because for an amount of time I was thinking negative and I just started thinking positive and could have been luck as well. And there's been times where I pull up these wins big time. I haven't got to the $500 ones, but it's worth it. I mean, I guess I'm finally after two years, I'm affecting it more. I'll listen to a hypnosis based some mental messaging, but not the certain type of different one where I work with me. But I have a lot of attraction money, that's why I put mine at. And it has greatly increased my winnings over the years, over the last two years.
I mean, I've probably won over four or five hundred this year on several tickets that, oh, maybe once a month, wherever. Big ones, maybe every couple months. And um, when I was in high school, <laughs> my luck was terrible. I tell you what, he determines what your luck is. If you can attract it in your life, it's like a vibration matcher. Think about it, it may occur. I got meditate on it, I got to think, what you're attracting? I did that for months for me, I did that for several months. I can never do the fireball, by the way. I don't mean me, I don't mean I don't know, I don't maybe, I mean, I don't know, I don't like a couple of dollars. But the biggest winnings were definitely the scratch offs, the highest amount. It's like every now and then I go buy one, it could be a winner, off the bat. Literally, the truth. At certain times, if one's not, another may be. You gotta think, if you really want in your life, if you really want to change your life, Get better because it eavesdrops on all your life. You match that vibration, what you eat, it basically matches the vibration you want, what you really desire in your heart, you know, in here. And you know what Jesus said about if you ask Him, anything could happen, that anything you ask will occur. In his name. If you ask for money based, nothing else. You know, like things you want to occur. That they'll change your life dramatically. And it's like, you want this. Maybe you want a new car. Maybe you want to, I wouldn't say a game. Because it's only worth $60. And within a year or a couple of years, it's worth less. Some marketers are going like crazy. And I'm thinking about increasing the stock, but I gotta watch out the tax. It's like, man, I get taxed like crazy over here. I think I got over $100 in tax for the federal. I mean, the federal needs to be reduced. I think, because it's gonna, it's gonna drive growth in the market. As seceding, I think we once did it, we need to go back to the ways yeah, it's really good. Dollar needs to get bigger. But there's always risk, trust me. But this hopefully comes the number one currency. Get the dollar back, get the currency back. Talk about the pay less bills, maybe. And you know, I even tell my thing about it. I don't, I wanna play this lottery, but I think Nah, never mind. It's rigged. It's, it's rigged, trust me. How many times you buy a ticket? Sometimes I get zero numbers. If I get one, it's usually a loser. One matching number. It's random, like per ticket. And you look how the lottery system works and how they think, how, how it, you know, operates. And there's one guy who. It was a couple years ago, it's the biggest Powerball. And I think the recent Powerball is pretty close to it. Um, it's a billion dollars it was back then. Apparently he hacked it from using malware that's pretty much invisible to him until they find out they were hacked and the amateurs were drawn for his. He basically, people gave him money, he sold the winning numbers that he picked and the software from the, all of the Lottery locations, you know, where it draws the numbers. And to this day, very few people win it. I heard people say, oh, you're going to win. Really? How many times have I heard that in my life? In the last four years, everyone win? Guess what? Lies. That's what Jesus said. Don't believe a liar. Don't let anyone deceive you, as, as I know. Because he said it for a reason. These people think things are going to happen. Most likely, most likely is a spirit or person that passed on that are spreading rumors. I catch a bunch of them. 
I said, oh, you're going to have my house. Well, it never occurred. There's a funny one, too. Someone had a feeling I was my cousin, younger. By the way, it never happened either. So, oh, you're going to have a house in Florida eventually. You're going to move. Well, it never happened. People think it's going to occur. Things are going to happen from thoughts. And most likely, Amy is deceiving each one of you, including me, saying these things will occur. Wherever someone says it, I don't answer. It's most likely I know it's a lie. It's not truth. The enemy is trying to do it in a way that you believe in your heart when, in fact, it's completely false. I hate it. I hate it. Because this, I think it was like a couple times, like, oh, you're going to, I got feeling you're going to win the lottery. Had a certain feeling in your heart. Well, the government also has a way to send certain thoughts into your mind. Hey, it's the EMP waves, isn't it? I think that's, they send waves. They send like real thoughts, like people talk to you, but they're not. It's false. <sighs> That's how they're saving the government's doing it. Before Trump was in there, and I'm sure they're trying to get by with it. While Trump's trying to do his work, get the country back on its feet. And it's called Tefalefic, or what is it? It's Tefalefic, so it gets it's wireless, basically. There's towers all around us that have put that kind of signal. They do want to control the masses. I think all these things are going to happen. And the fact they're lies, lies. And I think I, mean, I think I hear these. I think that's the truth. They're not. Yes, it's just a strong delusion. I hate to say it, but and it's nothing new. We have for a long time. They just put more of them up. So. There's Project Blue Bang, which is a laser, which is showing certain illusions. They're going to eventually send, this is involved with the radio signal, I just recently said in the last couple minutes, that they have all the languages through Google. Google will be the access point for the new world order to actually they'll project the image. A lot of these images, they think all these Thoughts are coming from their gods when asking, in fact, they're not. Because Google has translations for all the languages and what they say, so they can give it to any country, any U.S., and make you believe that God's here in the sky and showing a projection with the chemtrails in the sky that make it able to stick to the sky and show itself as a Real image when it's not. It's faked. And I think one of my recent videos did show proof of that. Uh, I'll do it again, whatever, but it looks like Jesus. All these things. It looks so lifelike. No wonder it would be it said it'd be big to see what coming. Even in the top leg we could see it. It's amazing, isn't it? How technology can literally grasp the mind of us. So, thanks for watching.